Hi, Daddies. Hey, how you doing? Today we're going to talk about where retirees are moving. Oh my gosh, they're moving? I know. It's always <laughs> fun to see these lists when they come out because the places that they're moving continue to change. So it's always interesting. And, you know, the closer you get to that number, it becomes even more compelling, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think people are looking for a cheaper place to live than where they're living now, no matter where they're living. Yes, because, you know, where's the number one state that people are moving out of? I think I know the answer to that one. I'll bet you'd all be shocked. No, it's right here. California. So where everyone is moving and the people that we are helping list their homes so they can move to these places. But let's talk about some of the places where they're moving and mostly in the South. So um, the South, the Southern states um, for affordable housing and lower taxes. Of course, we just did a video about um, taxes. So go back a couple. You can see us talk about the taxes in different states. Some states, some states are no tax states. That's right. And is it really a better deal? Um, so age 65 and older, um, the metropolitan areas have grown 9.4%, and the southern cities like Myrtle Beach is up 23%. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina. Oh my gosh, right on the beach. That's right. Nice place, lots of golf courses too. Texas has four sit, sit, cities in the top 10, and North Carolina is home to three. So let's run through some of these. The number one, to my surprise, is College Station in Texas, which is home of... Texas A&M. Texas A&M. That's right, um, the, them Texans. Yep. The uh, number one uh, Myrtle Beach median home uh, list price is 315000 And that, you know, is probably one of the great appeals to there. Plus, it's a great place. If you've ever been there, it's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Wilmington Beach in North Carolina, right there. So Wilmington Beach, Myrtle Beach, North Carolina, South Carolina. What's our medium home price here? About a million, oh, a million, right? A million right. bucks. Mm -hmm. So you're three fifteen. Yep. Sell here, go there, and buy three. Right. Exactly. Sounds like a sounds like a plan. Yeah. And that what the article is saying here is that your dollars go a little further there than they do in Florida because Florida is such a hot market too. So Wilmington, North Carolina, on oh. our list here. Oh my oh. gosh, we just talked about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Four hundred and ninety thousand is the median there. So that's in Wil uh, Wil Wilmington for a three-bedroom home. I would think that's a little higher there than Myrtle Beach because there's a big base there. It's called Fort Bragg. Uh, then we've got Raleigh, North Carolina, next median home list price five hundred and twenty-three thousand. A lot of big companies in Raleigh. Raleigh is approximately two hours north from the Carolina coast and three hours from the Appalachian Mountains. That's right. So either head to the mountains or head to the beach or stay right there in Raleigh. A lot mm -hmm. of Fortune 500 companies have moved to Raleigh. Yeah, when I was at Cisco in the 90s, uh, we opened a, one of our first campuses was in the Raleigh, greater Raleigh area. So I have spent quite a bit of time there doing events and um, it's a really a beautiful place. And the people, of course, are so nice, like they are everywhere in, yep. in the South. Yes, they are. Uh, now, we just talked about College Station. That's next. Median list price, 380000 So that um, uh, four-bedroom, yeah, 379 So that's College Station. Myrtle Beach still sounds like the deal to me. Mm -hmm. Austin, uh, of course, Austin's on our rental uh, market, too. It's the, no it's the number one rental market in the nation. But the median list price is 640000 in Austin. But what do they have there? Jobs. Jobs, <laughs> yes, yes. I was going to say lakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, like sounds like they're going to have Elon, too. Yes. <laughs> which brings more jobs, yes. which will mean the prices will go up. Because what do jobs do to a housing market? It increases. Mm -hmm. prices but Texas, of course, is a no-tax state. Mm -hmm. So is Alaska, by the way. Um, in 2023, Texas introduced legislation that gives elderly and disabled a break on property taxes. So that is the first time anyone has ever done that. So that is exciting, especially um, if you're elderly or disabled in Texas. Yeah, no, that's terrific mm -hmm. news mm -hmm. for both classes. Um, the Mesa, of course, depending on what article you read, the data skips around. So I, here's another one that Mesa, Arizona gained the most retirees, and this is people age 60 and up is what this article was talking about. So the year ended with the population up 23% in Mesa. Mesa used to have a moniker. This is like 30 years ago, so I'm sure it's not true, and I'm sure it was a rumor back then, but they called it the murder capital of the world. 
<laughs> well, I hope it's not that now since all the retirees are moving there. Well, they'll change everything. And Mesa and that's strictly a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just something that uh, floats around in the, on the Internet. And this is a long time ago, like as soon as the Internet started. Um, Mesa is just a suburb of Phoenix, right? Isn't that just the greater Fe yes, yep. Phoenix uh, sure, sure area? Is. area. So Florida saw a net influx of the most retirees, which is not a surprise, 77,000. And 30% of Maine's population is over 60. And then uh, the other list on here. So the top cities that lost the most retirees, the cities. Number one, New York, LA, Chicago, Portland, Anchorage, DC, Cambridge, Mass, Philadelphia, Colorado Springs, and San Diego. Colorado what Springs is the only one that catches me off guard there. The rest of them were like, yeah, you would think. And they're talking Very expensive about... to live in those cities. Yeah, so that, um, <laughs> what do most of those cities have in common? The top 10 states that gain the most retirees, of course, not surprising. Number one, Florida, Arizona, South Carolina, Texas, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. Alabama? Yeah, this is in the list. That's number seven. Golf shores. Number nine <laughs> is Nevada, and number 10 is Kentucky. Yes, we've had clients move there to Gulf Shores. Um, we've had our clients move pretty much every single one of these places on the list. And it's a great spring break place if you're in college. Mm-hmm. Ask us how we know. <laughs> uh, the top 10 states that lost the most retirees, of course, number one, the great state of California. Really? Uh, number two, retirees moved in, 48,000. Retirees moved out, 118,000. So the net mo movement, 70,000 out. And that's age um, 60 plus. Uh, number two, New York. Number three, Illinois, New Jersey, Colorado, Washington, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minis Michigan, and Minnesota. So that is your list of states where people are moving out of. Wait a minute, can you say that again one more time quicker? I know. Well, <laughs> I'll put it down below in my notes here. You can read about, read about it too. But I'm trying not to make this video too long. Um, but wanted to give you the update, especially if you're thinking about moving. There's all kinds of information, and we're happy to talk about it if you're thinking about it. We've got all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. All kinds. Uh, the number one country where people are moving for the third year in a row. Anybody have any guesses? Costa Rica. Oh, my gosh. I was just getting ready to say that. <laughs> you must have read, read, read my notes. I did. It was in big bold. Uh-huh. So that is our update on where retirees are moving. It's kind of all, oh, uh, if you look at the map, the way it is, it's Midwest and East. is East and down, not the Northeast, but kind of this way. So it was interesting to see that because three years ago, it was really Florida by a landslide and then Texas, Idaho, Tennessee. You notice Tennessee wasn't even on our list here this time. So well, this article came out yesterday. Well, Florida got real expensive. Mm -hmm. A lot of people migrated to Florida. And the Nashville area, oh my gosh, has exploded. Mm -hmm. It looks like Vegas when you go there now. Yeah, we were there a couple of years ago, and I hadn't re recognized it from when I was there 20 years before that. But it's just surprising that this article came out yesterday, and it's not even on the list. I know. Well, that's what happens when things get more expensive, you get more people, supply and demand pushes prices up, and then they find another nice place mm -hmm. to move to. Like according to this place, it's Myrtle Beach, Costa Rica. <laughs> I just wonder if we were doing this show 40 years ago, we should do the research. Were people literally leaving the colder states for California? I bet they were. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure they were. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. If you are thinking about selling your home, thinking about moving out of state, we have a lot of experience and we'd be happy to talk with you. So you know where to find us. CarrieandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.